First at nine, a crime spree stretching across Springfield. Over the last week, police have received several reports of broken glass at homes and slashed car tires. Lauren Schwenker is live in the University Heights neighborhood tonight. And Lauren, we hear criminals are targeting several areas. That's right, Maria. In the most recent instance here at the 600 block of East University, take a look at this car behind me. You can actually see it's sitting down lower than usual. That's because the rear tire and the front passenger side tire both slashed last night. My wife uh, took our son to school. Uh, my son said the ride was a little bumpy, so she got home, hopped out, and saw the, uh, yeah, the puncture on the passenger rear tire. Ishmael Naranjo is one of several victims of a tire slasher who hit University Heights. She got out, consulted the neighbors. They had the same thing. Uh, they had like a group chat going on. They're talking about uh, punctures and how they had all four tires slashed. He says their cameras didn't catch the criminal. I'm more surprised that no one's got any like good footage of it. My wife's been spending the whole day just going through footage and seeing if she can see anything. Springfield police are asking anyone in the area to review their cameras in hopes to get a good ID on who is doing this. If something has happened to one of your neighbors, uh, you know, take a look at your footage. See if you have something that, that might help police identify the person uh, responsible for these crimes. Chris Swatters with SPD says officers are seeing back-to-back -back property crimes across town over the last week. Some reporting rocks thrown through the windows of their homes. We've received a number of reports of uh, vehicles being vandalized as well as uh, property being vandalized with uh, broken windows. She says to make sure your home is properly lit and that having a camera will help turn vandals away. People with ill intent uh, tend to avoid well-lit areas and uh, places where there's not shadows to hide in. As for victims like Naranjo, he hopes whoever is responsible gets caught. That's just terrible. You know, I hope it doesn't happen to anyone else. Now, if you think that you have any video of the crimes, send them to Springfield Police. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Lauren Schwenker. Back to you.